In this video, we are going to talk a little bit more about routers and how they relate to networking. Routers are the things that connect different small area networks. Uh, I want to give kind of a metaphor for this. So I'm a teacher. I work at a school. Let's say I have a package that I need to get to somebody that works in the district offices. I don't know where her office is exactly, but I know her name. I go to my secretary. That would be, this is me, this is my secretary. I go to my secretary, I say, hey, I need to get this to so-and-so at the district office. Can you please help me out here? She'll say, oh, sure. I don't know exactly where her office is either, but I know how to get there. I know the next step. So, even though I didn't know the next step, she does. So she goes on and sends it on to the secretary of the district office. Now, that district office secretary has no idea who I am or where I am, but she knows the end location. What I'm trying to get across here is each router only has to know its own little network, only the stops right next to it. It doesn't have to know the whole internet, just has to know its own connections. And it can take information and say, all right, I don't know exactly where that's going, but I'll pass it on to the right direction. And that's really all it takes. Routers can be different sizes, different capacities, but what they do is just know their own neighborhood, take the information and pass it on in the right direction. Another really powerful thing that we're gonna get into a little bit later is they don't have to have the full package of information either. If this computer is trying to send information all the way up here, it might get split up and go to two different routers, and that's okay. The computers are still gonna know how to put that information back together correctly. Now the little pieces of information that are sent are called packets. Packets are actually little pieces of binary code, which I'm gonna draw up here for you. All right, so this is an example of what a packet might look like. It's just this line that goes up and then down and up and down and is either up or it's down. Uh, that is an electrical current. So a computer gets that and can translate that into ones and zeros, which we all know is a binary code. The way it does that is it draws lines a certain distance apart, basically, and if it's up high, it's a one. If it's down low, it's a zero. As we discussed in previous videos, this one and zero business can really mean a whole lot more. In fact, it means everything. Everything can be translated into ones and zeros. So this is really powerful. Now, these little packets are sent across through these routers. And sometimes if there's a file that's too large for one packet, it can be broken up into frames or smaller little packets. These packets don't have to go the same route. They go whichever route's available, whichever's fastest, and since they have the end IP address encoded into them, all the routers know where to send them. When they get to the end destination, that computer knows how to put it all together. 